on the day when Rahul Gandhi finally decided to speak after being restored as a member of parliament, the focus of attention was not so much the contents of his speech, but by an allegation which came in from the BJP. And that was the flying kiss. What really happened was that the claim which comes in from the women BJP MPs and something which Smithy Irani referred to during her speech was that apparently when Rahul Gandhi finished off his speech and he got up to leave for Rajasthan, the BJP leaders heckled him to ask him, where are you running away from? Why don't to come back and listen. It is at that point of time he turned round and gave a flying kiss. Well, as far as the BJP women MPs are concerned and something which Smriti Irani is also alleging is that this flying kiss was actually aimed at them. In fact, during her speech, she also said that this was a misogynist act coming in from the person who spoke before me, obviously referring to Rahul Gandhi. Now, why does these allegations become important? Because we were talking also about the whole idea of uh, women empowerment. And especially in the context of Manipur, you have seen that viral video which broke out. Rahul Gandhi made a reference to that as well, said women are not safe in Manipur. The state administration has completely collapsed. And with the prime minister not going to Manipur or breaking his silence on it on the floor of the house everyone in that state is feeling unsafe and not just there the whole idea of bharat mata has been killed and destroyed now what happens hap uh, and therefore when you start talking about women rights that's exactly the pot shot which Smithy Irani took and she gave out a long list of achievements which has been done by her government as far as women empowerment and looking after their beliefs is concerned in fact she gave an example of a World Bank statistic to point out that between 24 uh, 2004 and 2005 large number of women were raped or sexually assaulted because they used to go out in an open field as they had no toilet this is something which the UPA could not do. But coming back to the entire flying kiss episode, there are always going to be two versions to, the, uh, to this issue. Now, as far as the BJP is concerned, clearly they've made this an issue and that complaint has already been filed with the Speaker. Now, it is up to the Speaker to see what really needs to be done. Speaker may go through the CCTV footage if that's really available in the sense that whether cameras were focused on Rahul Gandhi when he was walking out. In the absence of that, it's only going to be a matter of versions and interpretation. And in fact, in a signed complaint to a speaker, they have made the point that they feel insulted and humiliated. And this is not something which a member of parliament should do. But not that the Congress party is keeping quiet. They also fielded the woman MP, Jyotimani leading the pack, who said that, first of all, this is not really the case. It's a wrong narrative which is being pushed forward by the BJP. What he only did is show his love. The, uh, the version really is that as far as the opposition party's uh, version is that Rahul Gandhi was getting up to leave and when he was being heckled, he retaliated by uh, giving a kiss but not at any woman MP and certainly not at Smriti Irani. But as I just said, this is always going to be a matter of interpretation and of different versions. But it certainly cast a shadow over the entire proceeding of the house as far as the discussion of no confidence motion over the Manipur issue is concerned. Never before has the misogynistic behavior of a man been so visible in parliament as what was done by Sri Rahul Gandhi today. When the house of the people where laws are made to protect the dignity of women during the course of a session stands witness to a man's misogyny. My question is, should he be brought to task? Raha chalte suna tha ki aurto ko wo log jo kanun ka ulanghan karte hain is prakar ki abhadra tippaniya athwa abhadra sanket dete hain. Ye nahi pata tha ki Gandhi khandan ke sanskar mein bhi ek sanskar ye hai. Misogyny? और महिलाओं के साथ अभद्र व्यवहार जब राहुल गांधी ने अपना बयान पूरा किया आप हाउस में थी उन पर आरोप लग रहा है कि वो फ्लाइंग किस देते हुए निकले बिल्कुल नहीं ऐसा कुछ भी नहीं है बल्कि उनको बोलने में जितना उन्होंने डिस्टर्ब किया है उतना करना नहीं चाहिए जब एक इंसान बोलता है तो उसकी बातें तो सुने उसका मजाक उड़ा रहे हैं उसके बारे में गलत गलत अपशब्द बोल रहे हैं ये हमारे संविधान की परम्परा है क्या पर मैम वो कह रहे हैं कि स्मृति ईरानी खड़ी हो गई थी और राहुल गांधी ने उनकी तरफ देखकर फ्लाइंग किस जैसा एक्शन एक बार नहीं दो बार किया बिल्कुल नहीं किया है वो गलत सोचती हैं असल में क्या है उनकी सोच अलग है और हमारी सोच अलग है हम लोग ऐसे नहीं तो कोई एक्शन हुआ मैम ऐसा कोई एक्शन हुआ कोई एक्शन नहीं हुआ है हो सकता है कि वो जल्दी से ऐसे करके निकले हो ये कोई एक्शन नहीं होता है फ्लाइंग किस का और क्यों देंगे किस लिए देंगे 
हम अपने विपक्ष को देंगे देना होगा तो हम अपने यहाँ की क्या हमारे लोग कम है क्या कि हम एक दूसरे को और वो तो नफरत को छोड़कर मोहब्बत की दुकान खोल रहे हैं और उसके बाद उन पर यह आरोप लग रहा है तो वो कह रहे हैं स्पीकर से कि इनके खिलाफ एक्शन होना चाहिए कैमरा से फुटेज निकालिए आपको क्या लगता है वो फुटेज निकाले कैमरा में देखे और स्पीकर से बोले ये स्पीकर साहब को ध्यान देना चाहिए इस बात पर की उनके साथ क्या करना चाहिए देश को कतरा है तुष्टिकरण से देश को कतरा है भ्रष्टाचार से देश को कतरा है वंशवाद से आजादी के बाद तुष्टिकरण के कारण वंशवाद के कारण भ्रष्टाचार के कारण देश को कतरा हुआ इसलिए हमारे प्रधानमंत्री अभी नारा लगाए हैं तुष्टिकरण देश छोड़ो वंशवाद देश छोड़ो भ्रष्टाचार देश छोड़ो इसलिए पूरा देश में ये नारा लगाएंगे एंड तुष्टिकरण वंशवाद भ्रष्टाचार को देश से मिटाएंगे